1889, an Italian naval captain named Adam Ginelli founded the Salvation Army in Texas. This past Friday, a barbecue lunch was held at divisional headquarters in Dallas. The lunch is part of a year-long calendar of events that will take place at divisional headquarters and throughout the Texas division. Many came to celebrate and to donate $1.25 in honor of 125 years. Many more events will be taking place this year, including National Salvation Army Week, a back-to-school event, and a music and food festival in the fall. General Andre Cox spoke last week at the National Social Services and Emergency Disaster Conference. Listen as he speaks on being a force for change. I'm not quite sure that we got the title of the conference exactly right. I do agree it makes a nice uh, sound bite. But I want to say that if we want to be an army that brings about transformation, then we're an army that needs to capture, perhaps to recapture and experience the power of God. And Jesus changed the course of human history with uh, a pretty ragtag mob. Unreliable disciples were his starting point. Just imagine what we can achieve with the spirit of Jesus within us and a global unified army with an unshakable belief in the power of transformation and confidence in the word of God. The lives of individuals can be changed and whole communities can experience positive change and transformation. And that is what we work for every day. I only get up every day for that reason. Otherwise, there's no point in anything that I do. And finally, we would like to mention that the first official selfie has been taken with the General and Commissioner Cox by Casey Storm, a soldier in Australia. In closing, we turn to the New Testament book of Romans. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Thank you for watching. For Salvation Army Today, I'm John Carter.